next game is against Aldist Du. Uh, let's play b3 again. That worked out well earlier. So let's try this again. Now bring the bishop out, put some pressure on the center right away. And let's see, what do I do here? Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll just go knight e2. Maybe I can get away with something like this, f4. And hmm, what do I do with this knight? What do these guys do with the knight usually? I have no clue. D3 doesn't look right. Now you can go knight f5. Hmm. Okay, let me take this. I just like to play some, you know, different positions. Always playing one e4 is uh, can can get boring after a while. So let's see how this turns. Oh, this looks interesting. I have this idea is maybe sometimes to go f6. So he plays f6 himself, but now mm, his bishop is kind of sad on g7. And I'll play on the light squares. Let's go e4. And maybe I'll even go h4. I'm not threatening h5. I don't want to do that because then he just he just closes it down. Um, but I, what I can do and what I will do is take on g6 and then play h5. Maybe I'll do it now. Tuck, tuck. And now I'm opening up this, these light squares for my knights, the knight on f, uh, the square on f5. And yes, I like that. This is a whole different story. Now with g5, I have this, um, might even sacrifice the exchange here. No. No need to do that. Rook to f2, so in case I want to double the rooks later. And okay, this is craziness. King f7. There's no way you're going to survive this, my friend. The king on e6. So b4, I'm just following my intuition here, trying to open up the position. And um, actually, what did I want to do now? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe go c3. Actually, yeah, well, this is actually working, but okay, that was not necessary. <laughs> not really planned either. <laughs> but just following kind of my intuition of moves and now it's working out miraculously. So it's nice. If he goes to a D file, I play rook D2. And if he takes, I play queen G4 check. And if he goes then to the D file, then I play again rook D1 or rook D2, winning the queen on D3. And if he plays knight F5, I can just take it off. So this is game over. Okay. What's happening? What is happening? Let's go H6 just for kicks. Just for kicks. Rook c1, threatening bishop takes e5, and the queen, the, the, the king still doesn't feel safe. Queen d5, renewing the threat of bishop takes e5. Mm. G4, 
check, check. And I'll just take the rook unless I'm blundering something. Nope. Okay, I think that was an interesting game. You know, you never know what you get when you play like unorthodox 1v3. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how my opponent should play. Maybe don't play d4 here? No, d4. I don't know. Maybe knight e7 here, something like that to cover the squares early. But still, I like my position. I like this plan, taking and playing h5 and opening up the light squares. So I'm not sure where it all went wrong.